Hi, this is Shumi from Overdrive and that is the new Mahindra Gusto 125 uh, and uh, you, pff, you'll hear me say it later perhaps on the Overdrive show but they've styled the Gusto with Gusto and uh, I'm, um, I'm not a fan of the way it looks because I think the graphics and all the you know the little uh, uh, mesh thingies and inserts that they've done I think it's a little bit over the top but uh, the good news is that uh, I think this is this color scheme, the uh, orange bronze, call it what you want, with white, is perhaps the most startling looking uh, scheme. The blue and white looks a little bit better, and the plain uh, maroon and the plain uh, black scooters actually are not so bad looking. Uh, if I go closer, you'll see the difference in the bodywork. You can see uh, these uh, new indicators. You can also see the little kink in the bodywork here. Uh, the front uh, mudguard actually reminds me very strongly of the old kinetic, and I actually quite like that. Um, nice little flat side and uh, this is where it gets really uh, well gusto <laughs> see the amount of chrome there uh, it's a little bit overdone at the back very familiar looking uh, tail lamp uh, quite looks quite good actually looks very distinctive I quite like that tail lamp and uh, on this particular model you get a black grab rail on the others there are others colors and just to quickly complete the exterior of the scooter as it were there's the switch gear and that's what the meter console looks like and of course like all gustos there's a little cubby hole here uh, which um, well i wouldn't put an, a, a cell phone or something in it because I, I would always be afraid they'll bounce out but of course you're free to do what you want uh, what mahindra were doing with the scooter very very uh, honestly was keeping the best parts of the gusto and improving everything that they could so in that process uh, to keep the features for example you've got uh, tubeless tires you've got the 12 inch front wheel you've got that uh, fancy flip key uh, right there and of course it makes the scooter go put push when you're ready for it and uh, again I'm not going to open the seat because uh, it shakes the video too much but again the seat is height adjustable like on the other Gusto and it's got all the niggles too so for example this is not a genuine ball uh, joint this only adjusts in one axis which means adjusting the mirror is a little bit of a pain on the other hand the Gusto 125's engine is actually very smooth. It's a 8.6 PS engine. It is very much based on the old Gusto to the point where it keeps the M-Tech name. But uh, Mahindra have done a lot of work on it and I'm really, really happy with how smooth it feels. I'm not convinced how fast it feels, but we've been riding only 30 kilometers and up and down hill roads so is a little hard to tell uh, where the frame of reference is. So we want to wait for the road test before I tell you whether the scooter is actually very fast, not very fast, very efficient, not very efficient. But Mahindra says this has the efficiency of a 110cc scooter with the performance of a 125. So certainly the promise is there. Ride quality again, Gusto had a very good uh, ride. This thing is slightly stiffer than that. Uh, handling, again, I'm going to defer to the road test. But overall, it's a promising 125cc scooter. And uh, the only thing that we have still to find out actually is the price. Because Mahindra intend to launch the scooter in February after the Auto Expo is over. And at that point, the rest of the details will become clear. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the new Mahindra uh, Gusto 125, the scooter that was internally called the G108. We've ridden it today. You can watch out for stories on Overdrive and on our television show uh, until, of course, the scooter comes out and we have a price. And at that point, look out for the road test. Mm.